Hello internet world and welcome to my review of the Vax Blade 4 cordless vacuum cleaner and I want to just tell you why I review vacuum cleaners. I like a clean and tidy environment both to live in and also to work in so I keep my editing room and the studio extremely clean and I actually enjoy the physical activity of cleaning as well. It's a nice little bit of exercise and a break from the sort of regular sort of work schedule. So, full disclosure, as always, Vax very kindly sent me the Vax Blade 4 out free of charge so that I could bring you my review. I'm going to share with you my honest opinion about this product. The first thing I want to tell you about, though, is the one power battery system. Now, you can buy these in a kit form, like I've got here, that comes included with a battery, or indeed, you can buy them without a battery, sort of like a bare bone system. And that's great, because if you own a couple of these already and you don't want any extra batteries, then you could buy just, for example, the handheld vacuum cleaner without a battery, and it would save you a bit of money. Now, in the range, there's the Vax Blade 4. Also, the previous version works with the same batteries, the Vax Blade 3. There's the Vax Glide. There's also a handheld vacuum and the Spotless Go, which I actually reviewed a couple of weeks ago on the channel. I'll leave a link up here. Without further ado, let's check out what you get inside the box. So this is what we get inside the main box. We get some information about the warranty and an envelope to send the registration details in. We also get a quick start guide. We get a wall mount. We get a little caddy. We also get a crevice tool. We get a brush attachment for doing things like upholstery. And then we also get a battery charger, which has got a three pin UK adapter plug on it and also the battery to actually power the Vax Blade 4 and this is a 4 amp 72 watt hour battery. Now charging the one power batteries is very straightforward. We've got the battery here. There is a, an indicator built into the battery so we can press this button to see how much juice is left inside and you can see here that we've got roughly about 50% left. But if we want to charge it, we've got a nice charging station. We simply slot this into place like so. And then we get a battery charging indicator down here. And then also on top of the battery, it flashes to show you how the charge is progressing. And this is the Vax Dust Tracker brush head. This is the main head that you get inside the box. This is what's going to make cleaning your carpets very easy and effective. It's got some angles on here and here. So this all moves really nicely and that makes it extremely easy to maneuver the vacuum around. We've also got some additional wheels here which work very well. And then if we look on the underside, we've got a little pickup here for picking up uh, things like pet hair uh, and other particles and also the actual main sort of brush. And you can turn this on and off via the main unit. So you can have it either static like this or actually rotating whilst you vacuum, which is obviously gonna sort of uh, agitate the pile on your carpet and pick up more dirt. So this is the main wand of the vacuum. This allows you to obviously reach up high. So if you wanna do some cleaning of those cobwebs, uh, it makes it extremely easy to do that or indeed obviously clean the carpets without having to bend down and then this is the main canister of the vacuum this is where all the dirt's going to go whilst you're vacuuming it's extremely easy to empty we simply unlatch it here and then we can empty it out very easily and then this snaps closed it's all kept closed by this little catch and then we've got the main sort of control of the vacuum we've got three buttons we've got the main power on off button We've got the button for that rotating brush head, so you can either have it static or indeed rotating. And then we also got this plus button, and we've got four increments of power, so we can increase the suction power for if we get that uh, a particularly dirty area to clean. It's all laid out really nicely. A quick correction for you. I said that this indicated four different levels of suction power. In fact, there are only two levels of suction power which you access by pushing the little plus button. This is your battery level meter. Back to the main video. And then on the back here, this is where you're gonna place the battery. This is the battery compartment. Now another option which is worth considering picking up is the Vax Cordless Pro Kit 2. 
So this kit consists of a bag to keep all the tools in. Also this tool here, which is the flexi crevice tool. So this is good for getting into those difficult to reach places, but if you push this button down, it extends to almost double its original length. So this is a really handy tool to have. Then there's also this one here, which is the tough dirt tool. Now this attaches to the textile tool that I'm gonna to show you next. And it's just got a nice stiff brush on it. So if you've got some really stubborn dirt, this is gonna agitate the carpet and help get it up off of the carpet. And then this is the textile tool that I mentioned a little bit earlier. Uh, this is great for doing things like sofas, for example. And then we've also got this, which is the stretch hose. Uh, this is a great hose. Uh, if you're wanting to do your stairs, this is really worthwhile picking up. It stretches so, so long. Look at that, absolutely fantastic and just makes cleaning stairs super, super easy. So everything fits together very easily. We've got obviously the main unit, which is probably the heaviest part of everything. And then we've got the main sort of wand, which I've already attached the uh, brush head to. This is called the dust packer, and it really does work extremely well. I think we should take a look at it in action. So to test just how good the Vax Blade 4 is, I've got a bit of a dirty carpet here. There's bits of tissue, bits of polystyrene packing and some ground pepper. Ugh. Let's see how it does. So what do I actually think of the Vax Blade 4? Is it worth your money? Well, I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I wanna cover off just a couple of negative bits and they're not deal breakers by any means, but worth mentioning. First of all, the Vax Cordless Pro Kit 2, which I showed you the contents of during my sort of unboxing of the product. Uh, this comes with a little bag to put all the accessories in. I wish the bag was a little bit bigger, just so it could accommodate all of the accessories that come in the Pro Kit 2, plus the accessories that come with the actual Blade 4. And also the actual battery, I know it's got a big capacity, but it does take a little bit longer than I would have liked to actually charge. So do bear that in mind. It's worth maybe keeping on the dock so it's charged up and ready to go when you're ready to clean. But going back to all of the positive points, wow, this thing is super, super powerful. I really do like the fact that you can actually turn the rotating brush on and off on the handle. I also like the fact that if you get a stubborn part to clean on your carpet and you need some extra suction power, you can push the plus button again on the handle and get that extra power. It really is a very, very effective cordless vacuum cleaner. The runtime is decent. The actual lightness or weight of this is also extremely impressive. And the maneuverability, thanks to that brush head and the way it pivots, is top notch. It's really impressed me a great deal. And as you saw during my demonstration, it picked up all of that dirt that I put on the carpet for the test with ease. It really is an impressive cordless vacuum cleaner. I love also the fact that you can interchange the batteries between the different machines. So please do check out not only this, the Blade 4, but the rest of the products in the range. I've left a link down below to the Vax website and also to where you can buy this for yourself. That is it for this video. Let me know what you think of the Vax Blade 4. I'm impressed. And if you liked the video, please do hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all in another one very, very soon.